What is good friends, we have the World Cup Finals, ABR from US Northeast versus Saki Mewtwo from US West. So this is the first game, 0-0 zero, zero is the score at the moment. Looking at the teams, uh, Volcarona can destroy ABR's team if it's HP ground, he just needs to chip the Heatran a little bit. Um, this Kelly is most likely going to be specs for breaking power. Then uh, Mega Scizor has to be Defog on this team to support the Volcarona. Most likely Scarf Landers for speed control. Uh, Boki Among Us would like Spore, Clear Smoke, Giga Drain. Last move could be Sludge Pump, could be Stun Spore, could be HP Fire. Do they run HP Fire in Auras? I, don't, I think they do sometimes. And then the Clefable is most likely the Rocker. Um, probably Rock's Calm Mind, which is what he used versus Blunder in semi finals as well. On ABR side, probably a Sub Seed Superior. Uh, Mega Slowbro, which is probably a Wincom with Calm Mind. Um, probably Rocks on the Heatran, which is probably like Spooky Churn with like Rocks Protect uh, Lava Plume. Last move could be either Toxic or Stone Edge. Um, we have seen Blunder used uh, ABR team in uh, semifinals, which had Stone Edge on Heatran. I know that because he used it earlier in his video, and he like ho when he hovers over the monsters, he like all the sets, and it had. Um, Stone Edge, which I think is specifically for um, Volcarona and Zard Y. And yeah, if you look at ABR's team, it is weak to Zard Y, so Stone Edge definitely would make sense. But yeah, let's talk about the game. Turn 1, ABR leads over with Clef, goes for T-Wave. Uh, Saki Mewtwo led off with uh, Kalios, who was obviously forced out into either the Among Us or the Scizor. And now if I'm Saki Mewtwo here, I would double out into Kalio, um, because ABR might want to go into his Heatran. Or his Skarmory and Keldeo kind of covers both, but he does just Mega, he wants to U-turn and he wants to get the Mega off to get more bulk, but I would have doubled into Keldeo to not risk the para. He does get paralyzed, ABR can now go for rocks here, Psychic Mewtwo pretty much has to go Keldeo, his only other play would be Landris, but Keldeo makes more sense. Um, now, ABR, if ABR is protected, he can go for it here to see what the Keldeo wants to lock itself into, because this is most likely a, a choice specs Keldeo. It just makes the most sense to me. If he doesn't have it, then he has to go hard into slow, bro. But he does go for protect. Um, Sakimito goes for toxic. And now maybe I should just go into Clefable because that scouts in case the Kaldeo is not choice locked. Then Sakimito could go for Scald or Pump here. So he definitely should pivot out into Clef to scout for that. Yeah, he makes the correct play. Definitely agree with that play. And now um, Sakimito doesn't want to stay in here and let his Clefable get T-waved. So he's probably just going to go back to his Scizor. Uh, so if ABR wants to predict that he can pull a double into Heatran, which would be a hard play, but ABR just clicks T-Wave again in case Psychimito wants to stay in and maybe get up the rocks with the Clef. Completely understandable play from ABR's side. So Psychimito goes for Defog, ABR goes back into Trend, and ABR can just roll the rocks back up. Psychimito has to go back into Kaldeo or Landers. Uh, Kaldeo is most likely going to come out. And yeah, ABR just wants to get these rocks up to um, weaken the opposing Volcarona, which can pretty much destroy his team. Um, like Heatran has to get chipped a little bit and then plus one HP ground probably kills it. I assume it's gonna be HP ground Volcarona because this team doesn't have much for Heatran besides Kaldeo. Uh, if Landris is Choice Scarf, which is most likely is, it's like not a good Heatran answer because ABI can always protect on it to scout what it wants to go for. And yeah, he goes into Clefable after protecting to scout that it locked into Scald, which is the correct play. Now he can just softball up. Psychic Mewtwo has to switch into either Among Us or Scizor, which uh, those are the only two options he has pretty much on this Clef. And yeah, maybe I can just soft build up here. He went Clef instead of Slowbro because this didn't risk getting burned because Clefable has Magic Guard and doesn't care about a burn. So Among Us comes out and ABR has to pick a Sleep Fodder here. Um, I think either Skarmory or Landris is probably a good Sleep Fodder. Um, Heatran is too important for the Volcarona. Um, Superior. You obviously don't want to go that on Among Us because it would just block the... Well, unless you go with Superior on a Spore and then pivot in a Heatron on a Sludge Bomb or Clay Smoke, that would be a hard play, but that's just not worth it. So you just put the Landers to sleep, which is most likely... I think there's a Scarf Landers as well on ABR side for speed control. And now ABR can um, probably pivot out into Heatran. So Psychic Mewtwo could double into Kaldeo here predicting that. Does he do that? And goes for stuns, but that's also a good play for Psychic Mewtwo. I obviously didn't know if he had that for sure. And now... Uh, Kaldeo is probably going to come out again for Psychic Mewtwo. So, um, it goes in the Clefable. Wow. Okay, yeah, so he goes in the Clefable because he knows that the Heatran is a bulky trend with rocks um, protect. Probably Lava Plume and last move is a Toxic or Stone Edge, which means it cannot really hurt the Clef. And Psychic Mewtwo wants to get up his own rex, rocks because if he gets up his own rocks, he can chip um, ABI's Heatran. 
as the scum run for Roland there in case the Cofedal is a common variant. But yeah, if Psychic Mewtwo can get up his hazards, I assume he's gonna try to defog here because the scum re got up a spike. But if Psychic Mewtwo can get up his hazards, he can chip down the Heatran to potentially plus one HP ground range from Volcarona, which would be important for him. Um, then you can potentially sweep with Volcarona if you can get rid of Heatran. But yeah, he gets paralyzed there, which sucks because he would have um, probably went for Roost or Defog. Probably Defog. But yeah, now he's forced into, yeah, pretty much, yeah, Kelly or Clef again. But like, Clef can't do anything back. And Navia makes a really good play there, doubling into Supriya, predicting the Kelly. This would have also covered the Clefable. And I think he just attacked, went for Leaf Storm, yeah. So now he can go for HP Fire, he gets the plus to boost. If Sakimoto doesn't have clear smog, this is kind of bad for him. Um, if he only has sludge bomb, because then the superior beats this one we won, but he does have clear smog. So now uh, ABR is forced out here. Heatran would be the obvious play. Um, so Sakimoto could double into Kaldu here, um, maybe predicting the Heatran to come out, but even if he does that. Um, he would take damage from hazards, but he does double into Lannis, which is also a good play. So ABR should never stay in here and protect because it would risk getting fully paralyzed and dying. So he should either go into his Slowbro or his Skarmory. Psychic Mutal's plays are either knock off U-turn or double out. Um, but yeah, doubling out into Keldew, which would be a okay play overall. Actually no, doubling into Keldew doesn't cover the Slowbro. Um, he doesn't really have, I guess, double into... Scissor maybe? Uh, actually, I don't know what he would have doubled to. He just knocks off. ABR makes a good play going slow, bro. Um, and ABR can just slack off here, keep the slow, bro healthy because it's his Kaldu answer. And Sakimutu has to switch out here into Clef, yeah. And Sakimutu can get a slow... Well, if this is a common slow, bro with Psyshock, I guess it beats the Clef when we won. But ABR doesn't know the last move on the Clef yet, so he probably wants to just switch back in the Heatran here. And he doesn't want to risk anything, so Psychic Mutu could uh, maybe put a double. Yeah, he, he pulls a double into Kelly, so he predicts the Hedron to come out uh, from ABR side. ABR get, makes the uh, other play, which is Skarmory, which uh, Kelly covered the Skarmory and the Hedron. Both months that could have um, came out on the uh, Clef. I think Clef was out on the Psychic Mutu side, right? I hope I'm not mixing it up. Yeah, Kelly covered the Skarm and the Heatran and Psychic Mutu is able to fire off a Scald again and he gets a burn on Slowbro this time so this forces ABR to just go for um, Slack off and Psychic Mutu can switch out here into his um, uh, either Clefable or Scizor but yeah like I said earlier if this is a Command Slowbro it probably beats the um, Clef from Psychic Mutu when we won because Command Sashok beats e uh, the Clef even if it's Command Clef and Mega Slowbro can't get crit if it Megas because it has the Shell Armor ability um, so I think I'm just gonna see the switch into the scissor here and he's probably gonna try to get a defog off to um, attempt the Volcarona sweep um, which like he obviously has to be HP ground for that to happen which I definitely think he is like I said earlier his team is really weak too like he doesn't have much return besides Kaldio which can like switch in a few times but not too often with hazards up and like Landers can check it but it's not a good answer especially with Heatran having protect and seeing what it can lock itself into the Volcarona definitely has to be HP ground in my opinion so he does just going to scissor uh, ABR has to go for slack off here and now uh, Psychic Mutu probably is going to roost here and uh, ABR has a few options he could either go in Heatran yeah I think going Heatran is a fine play uh, he might also stay in uh, if he gets the para here he can probably kill the scissor uh, he commands up okay well, I don't know if he would have. Oh, he probably would have had the Mega to kill the Scissor. I'm not exactly sure because if Slowbro Megas, I think it has the same special attack as Mega Latios. But yeah, um, Psychic Mutu probably wants the Defog here, and I don't know exactly if this was the correct play to set up the Slowbro on the Scissor. But I assume maybe I was just gonna um, Scald here, right? He does Mega Evolve. The Scald's gonna hurt 47, so no para. That's the Defog. So Psychic Mutu is gonna, um, maybe I think it's just gonna Scald again here. Psychic Mutu is probably gonna have to sack the Scizor. Um, there's no way this is a roll, I think Scald always kills, yeah. And the burn is gonna bring this low, and now he has to go into Volcarona, I think. Um, the, the hazards are down, and you can go into Volcarona, and yeah, you can Quiver Dance pretty much, which allows him to live a Scald. Um, I think ABR probably has to go for Sashok here because it probably, it most likely does more than Scald because it hits on the physical side, ignoring the boost. So I think Sashok does a little bit more, but let's see what he goes for. He goes for Sashok, does this a lot. And now we assume we're gonna see either Buck Bus or Giga Drain, whatever coverage the Volk has to hit the Slowbro does go for Giga Drain. And what item is this Volk Corona? 
I'm not exactly sure. And there's the Heatran. And now we're gonna see if the Heatran is Toxic or Stone Edge. And I'm pretty sure HP Ground doesn't kill from this range because it's a Spadef Heatran. So Psychic Mudu, um... Psychic Mudu might have to Quiver Dance again here, hoping for, um, for some hacks. Because I'm pretty sure he can't kill the Heatran from here. And he, he can't Oko it anyway, so like... Might as well Quiver Dance again, right? Uh, it depends on the item. If it's Lumberry Volcarona, then Quiver Dance again is definitely the play. Because if the Heatran has Toxic, then he can um, get rid of that with the Lumberry anyway. Um, but if the Heatran is Stone Edge, then maybe I just have to click it again and hope he hits. Which is not that easy to hit Stone Edge through Para. Um, so he has the Quiver Dance, which means that he's pros likely Lum and there's the Stone Edge and he misses. So I think ABI just loses now. Uh, this is definitely HP Ground Volcarona. I've talked about it a few times. So Sakimoto can just click HP Ground here and pre -ma I think he just wins at this point. So ABI missed. And he specifically has Stone Edge. Uh, I talked about it at Team Preview. Um, Blunder used a team that also had Stone Edge, which I think ABI made in uh, semifinals. Which was um, it's specifically for Volcarona Zard Y. That sucks so much. And the HP Ground kills the Heatran. And yeah, now he's just gonna... Well, I guess ABI is hoping that it's Fire Blast and he misses, but it's Fiery Dance, so the game ends, yeah. If it's first Fire Blast and it missed, he could've whirlwinded the Volcarona out. Um, but yeah, now Volcarona just clicks Fiery Dance and T-Wave... Do we see a Slum? It is Slum very, yeah. That's about exactly why he Quiver Danced again on the... So now he just clicks Fiery Dance twice, and, or Giga Drain even, doesn't matter, and wins the game. And US West is up 1-0. Um, yeah, that definitely sucked a lot. Maybe ABI could have played bit different instead of setting up with Slowbro going hard and the Heatran on Scizor. I don't know if th how that would have played out different, but I don't want to talk down on ABI. I think he played fine overall. Like, I mean, he played fine. I don't really don't want to hate on him. And he had to attack Stone Edge for specifically Volcarona and Mist. That just has to be so painful for him. Like, And now his team is down 1 0. I mean, nothing is over yet. It's a 10 games, right? So there's still a lot of games to go. Um, yeah, it's like 4 a.m. Um, I hope I didn't wake anyone up here. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And peace out, friends. Good God, unfortunate hex.